Welcome to Signal and System Lecture Series. Here in this session, I'll explain linearity property of Fourier transform. And to explain this, I'll give you first statement of linearity property. Then I'll be giving you proof of this linearity property. And then we will see very interesting example based on linearity property, which will gives you simpler way of calculation of Fourier transform by using this property. So let us have first agenda that is statement of linearity property. Now see linearity property is what if you have two signals, if we have two signals one is x1 of t and second is x2 of t and Fourier transform of x1 of t is x1 of omega and Fourier transform of x, x2 of t is x2 of omega. Then linearity property states that a1 x1 of t plus a2 x2 of t Fourier transform should be a1 x1 of omega plus a2 x2 of omega. So this is what the basic statement which is there with linearity property. So let us have proof of this property first and then we will see example. So let us derive proof of this linearity property. So what I'll be doing is I'll consider this signal as x of t and I'll take Fourier transform of this and that has to be this. So that is how we can prove this. So here if I consider x of t is equals to a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t. So Fourier transform is x of omega. So that is Fourier transform of x of t and the basic formula of Fourier transform is integration from minus infinite to infinite x of t e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now place this x of t in this formula. So if I place this minus infinite to infinite a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t into e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now let us separate these two terms. So integration minus infinite to infinite a1 x1 t e to the power minus j omega t plus a2 x2 t into e to the power minus j omega t dt. Now let us have separate integration where for this term a1 is constant take it outside integration minus infinite to infinite x1 t e to the power minus j omega t plus in this term a2 is constant integration from minus infinite to infinite x2 t e to the power minus j omega t dt. So if you observe these terms then this is what Fourier transform of x1 of t and this is what Fourier transform of x2 of t. So we can say this is x1 of omega and this is x2 of omega. So this will become a1 x1 omega plus a2 x2 omega. So this is what we have proved here. So this is a proof of linearity property. It follows this a1 x1 t plus a2 x2 t Fourier transform has to be a1 x1 of omega plus a2 x2 of omega. So in university examination you will be finding sometimes they are asking proof of linearity property of Fourier transform. You can go in this way. Now let us have example. So it will be more clear. So for that I will consider one example. See, question is find Fourier transform of given signal 
and here I am writing this signal first x of t is equals to 2 and 1 and 2 is happening at t is equals to 0 and for t greater than 0 it is 1. So here we are a little bit to identify Fourier transform of this signal. Now some people might be watching this signal and they are thinking like how to apply linearity property here. So for that first of all we need to understand what is this signal. So if you see this signal, so let me plot it first so it will be more clear. So if you plot this signal. Then you will be finding this signal is having magnitude 2 at t is equals to 0 and for t greater than 0 it is having magnitude 1. So that is how this signal will be there. At t is equals to 0 it is 2 and for t greater than 0 it will be 1. So in which case this is possible. So one can clearly see this is step signal. And here if you add one impulse then addition of step signal and impulse that will result into this x of t. So based on this graphical representation one can understand this given signal that is addition of step signal and impulse signal at t is equals to 0. So from this we can say here x of t is what? impulse del of t plus u of t. Now we need to solve Fourier transform of this x of t. So let us have it. So x of omega Fourier transform of x of t. So that is x of omega and that one can say integration from minus infinite to infinite x of t into e to the power minus j omega t dt and here we have two signals so I can say this is what Fourier transform of signal 1 that is del of t as per linearity property plus Fourier transform of u of t. So here I am not calculating that by placing this formula. I am directly saying like it is addition of two Fourier transform as per linearity property. So we have already derived Fourier transform of impulse and Fourier transform of impulse is unity 1 and Fourier transform of unit step function that even we have derived it is pi into del of omega plus 1 by j omega. So Fourier transform of this given signal that is 1 plus pi del of omega plus 1 by j omega. So that is how we can solve this problem. Now sometimes there could be little tricky question and in that case even we need to solve similar type of equation based on Fourier transform at that time we can use linearity property in terms of algebraic addition of so many terms. So for example if I say you have one more case like find Fourier transform of x of t and if it is given like e to the power minus a t u t plus u of t plus del of t if it is given like this then directly we should be using linearity property and you will be finding Fourier transform x of omega that is Fourier transform of e to the power minus a t u t plus Fourier transform of u t plus Fourier transform of del of t. So this is actually 1 by a plus j omega Fourier transform. I have explained that in standard signals Fourier transform. We need to remember this even. 
Fourier transform of ut that even we have derived pi into del of omega plus 1 by j omega plus Fourier transform of del of t that is 1. So this is what total Fourier transform of this given signal. So this is how in algebraic addition of time domain signals we should be using linearity property and which will gives you simpler way of calculation of Fourier transform. I hope that you have understood this session how to apply linearity property. Thank you so much for watching this video. You can download this material from my application. So you can have quick revision for your examination. So I have placed that in my application and you can go through it by having link which is given in description of all videos and you can download it from there and you can access all those material free of cost. Thank you so much for watching this video.